Good morning. It is December 12th, and I just want to share with you a quick process that I just found out yesterday um, in talking with Tamara Hart from, she's a product manager with the Fusion 360 team, on how to show um, or represent rather motion or uh, joints in drawings. So, share with you my screen. So what, um, I've got this seating system here and when I'm doing the design originally for the assembly, you know, I go through and I create um, a whole bunch of joints, uh, as built joints just to lock parts that aren't gonna move together. But then there's some sliding joints, um, these armrests go up and down, the tray table uh, slides off and then it actually, the whole system um, tilts in, it's called tilt in space. So, uh, you can see there's little pockets down here for a 3D printed knob that we do. And then this chair can tilt in space back 45 degrees. It's got three stops really. So um, the trick was when you go into your drawing environment, uh, let's create a new drawing. Sure. And I'll put a right view. Let's bump this guy up a little. Mm -hmm. Let me find this back there. So you've got that view. You don't have an option to um, tilt it. So if I if I go back to my um, model space, I can. Tilt this back, you know, approximately there, and capture that position. Save it. When I go back to my new drawing, it'll say it's out of date, so I can update it. But I can't show the three positions um, through that process. So what I can do, let's say is what I've done right here, which is you actually, um, you leave your stock, or you leave your default position as is, and then you generate a go to animation, generate a new storyboard for each position that you want to represent. So I've got 45 degrees back. Oh, of course, because I let's go back to our model space and Get rid of that last capture position. I'll resave that. So what the animation space is doing is um, it's allowing the motion to be represented as a new workspace. <clears throat> Storyboard, sorry, rather. So then when you go into your drawing, you just right click. You can do. Uh, you got to do a new base view. You can go from the left side. But right here under representation, instead of model, you can choose your animation storyboard. And what it's going to do is it's going to do the um, left. It's going to do the last keyframe in that storyboard. So there you go. That's how you can represent different joint positions on your drawings without duplicating a uh, entire assembly. Um, so just go into your animation workspace, make your moves, save that, and then when you create your base layer or your base view in drawings, just make sure you choose the right representation. I hope that helps. Um, yeah. Enjoy.